Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game World of Warcraft installed and downloaded on your Apple Silicon Mac. Whether it's the M1 or the M2 Mac, this is going to be heavily optimized for Apple Silicon hardware. That's because World of Warcraft is actually one of the very first games that was actually optimized for the native Apple Silicon Mac. And that's why it runs pretty great even on the base M1 hardware. So today I'm going to show you how to download and install Battle.net on macOS Ventura and how to download World of Warcraft and then get it working on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So we're going to go to the battle.net website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then we're going to press this button, which is download battle.net. And this is going to take us to the downloader. We're going to allow downloads from blizzard.com, press allow. And once that's downloaded, we're going to go down and open Finder. Then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then double click on battle.net dash setup. So here it's asking us whether we're sure we want to open it, press open. So here it's asking for the language. We're going to press continue. And now we're going to enter our local administrator password and then press OK. So this is saying it's updating battle.net update agent. Here we're going to type in an administrator password again and press update settings. So now it's asking us where to install. We're going to let it install in its default location. I'm going to uncheck launch battle.net when the computer starts, press continue. Now it's it's going ahead and downloading and installing battle.net. So here it's saying it's starting battle.net. So now we're going to log in with our username and password. So if you've not used battle.net, you can go ahead and create a free battle.net account. You're going to need this if you want to play any Activision or Blizzard games on your Mac. I already have an account with games, so I'm going to press the login button here. And then I'm going to type in my email address and password. So when you open up for the first time, it's going to scan for games, but I'm going to press close here and then continue. Here it's giving us the tour of the launcher, telling us how to find games and our friends list, etc. So we're going to find on the main menu of the launcher are all of the games that you can download and install. So there's a whole bunch here. And you also have our favorites bar at the top here. If you go to the shop section, you can basically buy and purchase many different games. Just be aware if you're trying to run these on the Mac, only some of these are available for Mac operating system. So just make sure to check before you download and buy anything. For example, we can't run Call of Duty Warzone or games like Call of Duty Vanguard, etc. Those don't have Mac versions, but plenty of others do. So now that I have Battle.net installed, I'm going to go to the All Games section here. I'm going to find World of Warcraft. So if we don't have World of Warcraft already, you can find this on the shop and make a purchase of the game. Just do a search in this section here and you can find World of Warcraft. Just click on this here and you can go ahead and make a purchase and then add this to your account. So once it's in your account, press games and go to all games. I want to find the World of Warcraft game art here. And then we can press the install button on the bottom left hand side. And here it's going to install it in its default location. It's going to put it in the applications folder. So let that install in its correct location. It's going to require 78 gigabytes of storage space. So just make sure you have enough. And once you're ready, press the start install button and it's going to start that entire install process. So this might take a bit of time depending on your internet connection. Make sure you have enough space available. So once that's complete, we're going to move on to the next stage. So once the download is complete, we're going to go ahead and press the play button here and launch World of Warcraft. So it's asking us for permission to access documents, press OK here. And now wants permission to access the microphone, press OK. Now the game has already launched in the background. Here we're going to log into one of the game servers. So it's asking us to agree to the social contract, press accept. And now what I want to do is to log into one of my characters. And as you can see, this is all working correctly. So you can access the frame rate by pressing Control R. And as you can see, this works great. So I'm going to put this into windowed mode so that we can see this working on macOS. So this is all working great. This is all classic World of Warcraft action, and it's all working fine on Apple Silicon hardware. This is actually one of the few games from Blizzard which is actually optimized for native M1 or M2 Max. This is an Apple kind, so it doesn't require any kind of translation there for this to work. That's why World of Warcraft is one of the most optimized games for the Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.